Well, hello there! I hope you're having an amazing day and that you're feeling ready to wrap things up and prepare all the groundwork for working with Rust. Whoa, that slide looked scary. But do not worry about it, that was just so I could emphasize the importance of this video, because it's very important to actually install the tools that you're going to be using. And this video is all about that. In this video, we are going to install all the prerequisites that Rust needs us to install in order to be able to run properly. So that's exactly what we will do here. So how are we going to do this? Of course, the first thing that we need to do is install Rust's toolchain. What is a toolchain? I mean, is it another of those made up words? Do not worry about it. Toolchain is nothing complicated. It's very simple, actually. It's a collection of programs that allow our compiler to work and to make our coding experience easier. It's as simple as that. And now that we covered what Toolchain is, we can continue our discussion and actually discuss how to install it. Awesome! So, the first thing that we need to do is check if we already have C++ build tools installed on our computer. Because it's a required piece of software that Trust needs in order to be able to run. So, the question arises, how can you check if you already have C++ build tools? And the answer is very simple. We just check if we have it installed on our computer. It's as simple as that. Okay, here is how we can do that. The first thing that we are going to do is click on our start menu and then start typing control panel. And after typing a few letters, you'll probably see control panel pop up. And when that happens, you just open it. And after you have done that, then just select uninstall a program. Here it is. And when we open it, we're going to be searching for C++ redistributable. And here it is in my case. As you can see, I already have it installed, but do not worry, we are going to cover the installation process either way. Welcome back! Now that we know if we already have C++ build tools or not, we can continue our work. So if you already do have it installed, you can skip the upcoming step. You do not have to follow steps to install C++ build tools because you already have them. But on the other hand, if you do not, this is what you need to do. Now let's go to our installation process for C++ build tools. The first thing that we need to do is go to Microsoft's official website for Visual Studio and there you will see something that probably resembles the things you're looking at your screen right now. And here, as you probably have guessed it already, we are searching for build tools. So we scroll down a bit until we see the build tools section. And inside of it, you can see the download button. Click it and the small installer will be downloaded for you. After that happens, you just run it, as you can see right here. And when you're done with that, you will see this screen. And as you can see, we have quite a few options, but the one that is of our interest right now is the first one. It's the C++ and we are going to select it. After we have selected C++, you will see additional tab on your right side pop up. And inside of it, you will see so many different options, but you should not worry about them because they're not so important to us. The only thing that matters is the first one, but it's mandatory so you basically cannot uncheck it. So we can just continue the installation process by clicking install. And when that happens, you will see a window with progress bars and it looks something like this. When the installation process is over, your C++ will be installed and you'll be ready to go. At this point, we know for a fact that you have all the prerequisites for installing Rust. So, the main dish of the day is our next thing to cover. We need to install RustUp. And to do that, we are going straight back to our computer's view. The first thing that we are going to do right now is head straight to Rust's official website. 
As you can see, it might not be the first result, but do not worry, I'm going to paste the link in the description down below this video, so you can just click the link and you'll get to this page right away. Awesome job! Now that we made it to official Rust's website, it's time to actually download the installer. And as you can see, we have two large download buttons. One has x86 besides it, and the other one has x64 besides it. And this is where you need to download the one which is going to be compliant with your operating system. And if you do not know which architecture your operating system uses, please reference a previous video that I released. In it, I have showed you how you can check it. Now that you know which architecture your computer uses, it's time to just click the download button. And after you have clicked it, you will see that your browser is downloading the installer for you, and when it's done downloading, it's only time to run it. When you do that, you will see command prompt launching, and inside of it, you will see a bunch of text going on in about installing some stuff for you, so do not worry about it, that means it's working. And when the installation process is done, you will see something like this. Now you have Rust installed on your PC, which is awesome news, right? Yeah, but before we get ahead of ourselves, let's make sure that everything is installed properly. The first thing we need to do is run our command prompt and then just run Rust C dash dash version. And when you run it, you will see if the installation was done successfully, you will see the version of your Rust C. By the way, Rust C is a Rust compiler, but you'll hear more about it in the next video. And the other thing that you want to check is to run cargo version. And when you run it, again, you should see the version of your cargo. And again, cargo is your project management tool as NPM in Node.js. So yeah, you'll hear about it in the next video. And as you can see, in both cases, installation went well on my computer. Everything was installed successfully. And when you run these instructions, you can basically see the actual version of both of these tools that are installed on my computer. And that's exactly what we wanted to see. If you get some error messages or it states that it's an unknown command, in that case, please leave a comment and I'll try to help you out and to install everything together. We are back! So what now? There is only one thing left and that is to code. Finally, it's time to code. And for this video, we only have two things to cover. The first one is what we are going to talk about in our next video. And to answer it, it's very simple. We are going to start our talk about Rust C and Cargo. I hope you will be joining that adventure with me. And the second thing that I want to say is have an amazing day and goodbye.